well and popped it free from his grasp. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? These are his numbers from last week's contest. 18 carries, 98 yards, and a score. They've got a nice scheme going right now, and they run the football pretty well. In fact, I was talking with him on the field before the game, and he said he's starting to hear from the guys ahead of him on the rushing yardage total, and they want to know if he's going to jump up there and join them at the top of the list. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. This is fielded at the 27. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. This is what made the West Coast offense a staple around the NFL in the 80s and 90s. You don't have to push the ball deep downfield to come up with big plays. And there's an example of that right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. a touchdown. touchdown a 14-yard touchdown and his guys have taken a first quarter lead if you didn't know it it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring they've been a quick strike team all season long there's another example they did it again this offensive coordinator right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach he's advanced in the ways of offense it's up and good, and it'll give his guys a 7-0 lead. One play, two plays, touchdown. That's all it took there. A very short and sweet drive that got him in the end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, they told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And they're going to face a third down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. To throw on third down, Jones. And the pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. Picked off at about the 31. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Intercepted. How about the big boys snagging one? You don't see that every week. No, you don't, but a lot of them are just reliving their old dreams, going back to when they were in youth football and in high school. They didn't always play defensive line. Some of them actually handled the football, and you can see the flashback when he grabbed that one. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. 22 yards. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. He hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm. Now he does it with his legs. 
right now, he's one of those stat stuffers that you see on the basketball court. You know, the guy with points, rebounds, assists, steals. One with the arm, one with the legs. Let's see if he can continue this pace. And sending out the reminder that, yeah, look, I'm known for having an arm, but I can do it with the legs on occasion when I need to. Extra point put through by Succo, and it's now 14 to nothing. Giants nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here's Dante Pettis on the return. And able to get this out to the 25. The take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 14, Giants nothing. On second and nine, Jones finds his tight end, Ingram. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. It's third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. And Ingram holds it in. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. From the gun. Jones looking for Tate, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Blake Martinez, the linebacker, was there in coverage to disrupt. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. The throw over the middle, taken in. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And they're going to get him. He sacked back around the 28. Give the sack to Lorenzo Carter. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Oh, nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Kendall Fuller there on the coverage. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll set up to throw. That's caught. It's Thomas. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Not much there, only a yard. Second and goal from inside the five. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And he is going to go down. Back 
back at the 11-yard line. Oh, Shane Zeminis coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. What a stand this would be if they can get the stop here, third and goal. They'll look to throw here. Credit the Giants' defense that time in pass coverage. Fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep routes, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. 25-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny United? And no, not, not quite of that level and not of that age. But I remember I was look, going for the age. I remember looking over at it, and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? It's because he had enough confidence in himself that it, that was a fluke. And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Second down and 10. To throw again, Jones. Jones hit and the ball's out. Daniel Jones sacked. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. On third down, Barkley across the 30 to the 31-yard line. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and ten. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. And nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Incomplete. Brings up second and 10. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, I haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't like a target that size. I mean, that's a big, tall receiver, and somehow he missed him anyway. Yeah, attempting to just put it out there for him to go get it, but dangerous throw and not on target. Yeah, sometimes even a receiver with that. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be... Taken down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Brings up third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Gonna throw right side here. Complete. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He hit his first, this one from 38. 